on the high school football fields. Opening night, now nine days away. Tonight, we continue our score previews with a stop at Bettendorf for the Bulldogs look to get back to the Bettendorf football standard. Camille Gear has the story. The 2022 season for Bettendorf is one the Bulldogs wish they could forget. Last year? Last year was a nightmare. Uh, it was terrible. Um, you know, uh, everything that went wrong, that could have went wrong, went wrong. An 0 and 4 start and a 3 and 6 finish. A season not up to the Bulldog standard. Disappointing um, because, especially in uh, what is it, I think three of those games, they were close games that we just couldn't find a way in, and it left us feeling like we could have gave, given more. Bettendorf returns plenty of talent on the offensive side of the ball, but the Bulldogs look to fill some big holes. Replacing their leaders in rushing and receiving yards. I'm trying to find my number one guy, which was Mendoza last year. And on a third down or any play, I'd look for him. We have a lot of depth, and it's going to be good to see how all of our running backs and receivers can perform this year because we have a lot of depth. Next corner, get out there. You, you look to your veteran guys that played last year to be leaders, and and um, you know we'll see. You got to find playmakers, and you got to find uh, kids who step in and fill those roles. A new season needs a clean slate one this team plans to take advantage of. I think a lot of the other seniors too definitely uh, has been in our minds because we felt we could be a lot better than we were and um, just feeling around is we want to get back to be where Bettendorf's been in the past which is competing at the highest level. Reporting in Bettendorf, Camille Gear, WQAD, News 8 Sports. What a start to the season. Bettendorf will kick off their year at home hosting crosstown rival Pleasant Valley. That will be a good one. And we'll continue our score previews tomorrow with a stop at the college level. We'll head over to St. Ambrose University. And don't forget, the Quad City's only 30-minute high school football show is the score. It returns with guest grillers and all Friday, August 25th at 1035.